Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. Take a look at this headline. This is a headline from a new survey by the University of New Hampshire Survey Center. New Hampshire residents show waning optimism about U.S. business, but record positivity about personal finances. With me to talk about that, and we're going to show you some bar graphs that make those points, is the director of the University of New Hampshire Survey Center, Andy Smith. Welcome. Great to be here. Nice to have you. Um, just your takeaway from the survey in general before we go to the bar graphs. Well, in general, we have seen uh, declining consumer confidence, both their expectations for the U.S. economy and for the, um, the New Hampshire economy. But it's, it's, it's declining somewhat over the last year, but it's not anywhere near the precipitous drop that we saw prior to the recession in 2008, 2009. But there's some trends, and let's go to them. Let's go to that first graph. And this is business conditions in New Hampshire the next 12 months. And uh, this is from your survey. Uh, what are we looking at? Well, we've got 61% saying that they expect good times over the the next year. Only 17% expect bad times. 22% things, things are going to be mixed. Uh, that's about a 10 percentage point drop, though, from about from last fall. So it was up at 71% in October. So it has been declining. Um, it hasn't dropped off the cliff yet. So the word used waning in your headline yes. is what that's all about. Yes. So we have seen it dropping, but it hasn't really gone off the rails. Okay. Next graph. Let's put it up. This is business conditions in the U.S. the next 12 months. And the good Good times, bad times are mixed. Well, so you can see that people's perceptions of the U.S. economy overall are, are worse than New Hampshire. 48% expect good times, 29% bad times, 22% mixed. So it's still good. It's declined somewhat from the highs that we saw uh, about a year, two years ago. But here, one of the things that I find most stark is that if you ask Republicans, 76% of Republicans think the economy is going to be good in the U.S. over the next 12 months. Only 18% of Democrats think so. So the partisan divide between the perceptions of Republicans and yeah. Democrats is really, really stark. About the same economy. About the same economy. Yeah. So you can see that this is being set up for the 2020 election. Now, making that point, perhaps, is an next bar graph, and it's a U.S five-year economic outlook. So we've got 41% think things are going to continuously be good, but 29% now thinks we're going to have widespread unemployment, depression, recession, and 30% really aren't sure. They're kind of mixed about this right now. The same sort of gap between Republicans and Democrats, 70% of Republicans think things are going to be great over the next five years. Only 14% of Democrats think so. But I noticed the mixed uh, item is up. It, it is up. So these things are continuing to decline a little bit over the last year or two years, yeah. but they're, again, not, nowhere near what they were going into the, the uh, 28 recession. Now let's get personal. Let's get personal. The next bar graph is household financial condition compared to last year. Now here's where we see some real positive news for New Hampshire. 47% of New Hampshire residents think they're better off this year than they were last year. Only 18% think they were worse off and 35% think their things are about the same. Same sort of partisan divide, really amazing. This is the same economy, yeah. same people in the same state. 72% yeah. of Republicans think the, the, they're better off than they were a year ago. Only 22% of Democrats think they're, they're better off. Do you detect any off. age difference on these results? Not so much. Age, uh, with age differences there, it's one thing that we see is that older people tend to think that things are just about the same because they yeah. tend to be on a fixed income. Younger people are always more optimistic about this because they really have seen some improvements in their, in their okay. personal work. Well, let's go to household finance finances again, uh, the condition 12 months from now, and uh, look at the results. Look at just about the same, way up. Yep, that's typical. We see 55% think things are about the same. That's been the pattern for the last 20 years, that most people don't think that their personal lives are going to change too much. 36% think that things are going to get better. Only 10% think things are going to get worse. Uh, we've seen similar sorts of partisan divides here. Democrats think things are going to get really bad. Republicans think things are going to be pretty good. And. Good time to buy, and I need to buy a washing machine, so I looked at this one. Good time to buy major items for the house. Well, you're right in the, uh, where the, the state of New Hampshire thinks you should be right now is getting out to the store. 67% say it's a good time to buy something. Only 20% say it's a bad time to buy something, and 13% aren't really sure about this. And I think this reflects the amount of money that people have over the last year right. that's come into their pockets. And this is consistent with two other surveys that just came out in the last, uh, this past week. One from the U.S. Commerce Department, which mirrors what you just said mm -hmm. um, in all those graphs, and also from Chief Executive Magazine, uh, which uh, said the same thing. So uh, consistent, consistent, consistent. We can look at those results and know they're accurate. Andy Smith, Director of the University of New Hampshire Survey Center, thank you. Thanks for having me.